William Logan was born on December 8, 1776 in Fort Herod, what is now Harrodsburg, Kentucky, to Benjamin and Anne Montgomery Logan. He was one of the first born in Kentucky of European descent. He did receive an education, but not in the formal sense. He was tutored at Logan's Fort. He was a representative from Lincoln County during Kentucky's second constitutional convention, and in 1799 his family moved to Shelbyville. During this time, Logan studied law. Over the years, Logan represented Lincoln County and Shelby County in the Kentucky State Legislature. Logan married Priscilla Wallace in 1801, and they had three children. He was appointed to the Court of Appeals in 1808, but resigned 19 days later. Two years later, he was reappointed to the same position. In multiple years, he was a presidential elector for the Democratic Party. In 1818, he was elected to the U.S. Senate. He defeated Richard Johnson. He resigned in 1820 to run for governor. When the votes were counted, Logan lost to John Adair. Logan received 19,947 votes, and Adair received 20,493 votes. Logan died in his Shelby County home on August 8, 1822, and was buried in the family cemetery. I hope you've enjoyed learning about William Logan. He came from a prominent frontier family. His father was Benjamin Logan, who settled Stanford, Kentucky. William carried on his father's legacy in helping shape the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.